and what's happening youtube you by tech tricks back with another video and today we're going to show you a lot of accessories that you can use for your new macbook air m1s macbook pro m1s and mac mini m1s here we go first things first make sure to hit that subscribe button below hit that notification bell so you can notify the next videos to come of tips and tricks and a bunch of little accessories just like this one Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Make sure to hit that like button so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at all the accessories that you can use for your new MacBooks. Here we go. We're just going to go ahead and look at a bunch of accessories that you can use. So the first one we're looking at is the USB-C wall charger by EgoWay. This one is pretty useful as well, especially if you are using or trying to find a block that you want to bring and travel with you all the time. You have multiple... Uh, devices like an iphone or maybe a samsung uh, phone or something like that or maybe even airpods now you can use uh, blocks just like this that you can use to charge your macbook and also your phones so here as you could see we're zoomed in right now it's this one has different options like the first slot a USB-C slot is 60 watts the other one is 18 watts. I would use the MacBook to be plugged on the 60 watt instead. And then the 18 watt I would use for fast charging on, on your phones. And then I it, this even has USB 3 options right here as well with 2.4 amp max. That's just pretty good. So here you can pair with you. You can uh, bring with you all the time. And it would be pretty useful at home as well. Here, as you could see, they have different options of charging. They have uh, one that you just plug in right to the wall, or maybe you want to be more slim. You can plug in this, this cord instead into this slot right here. That's pretty good. There's, they also have a stand that you can uh, flip 360 so that you can have it standing. And then there's different options, like I said earlier, right here. You can use this for all your devices. Maybe you have an iPad Pro as well. Then you'll be able to charge it with that as well. There you go. The next thing on our list is the Sony headphones. Of course, uh, if you have, if you're traveling around as well, you need uh, you need headphones to to use on the plane or maybe uh, when when on a subway when it's super busy and you want to noise cancel your background and you would just want to focus on what you're doing this is what the, this is one of the best uh headphones out there that you can buy and still the best price for it, it as you can see right now they're they're on sale for 350 dollars, so that's pretty good you can wait around as well for this and they have deals on boxing days and uh the they had it on sale as well when it was Black Friday. Uh, in Canada, we're going to have a Boxing Day soon. So you might as well just wait for that and uh, buy one yourself. The next one we have is the uh, Apple AirPods Pro. So here, uh, we're looking at another noise cancelling earbuds. But this is more of a sleek design. Of course, it's just a smaller thing that you can have in your ears instead of this big chunky uh, headphones. Maybe you're more for like that and you're using this for... Uh, you can bring this with you wherever you are. If you don't have a backpack, you can just put this in your pocket and you're good to go. Of course, the other thing as well is you can ha you can buy an AirPods with charging case if you don't want to if you don't really care about the noise canceling or maybe you just want something to, you know, a little bit cheaper to to use uh, on your everyday life, then you can use the Apple AirPods as well instead of the Pro. The other thing as well for uh, Mac minis and they don't have keyboards or maybe on your MacBook a Pro or Air, they you want you want a keyboard with numeric keypad. The best keyboard out there, the wireless keyboards, is still the one that Apple makes, which is, has the uh, numeric keypad. As you can see here, this has all the functions that you can have on your MacBook, on your iMac, or some for example, and have it. Uh, have all the function keys that you can have now you can have all those functions and have it for your mac mini or for your macbook air or mac pro that's pretty good i still like these the best of course uh i don't know if you guys have a bias or something like that i'm kind of biased on what apple makes for their own products because they do work very well so that's why i like recommending it they they are on sale as well it used to be 150 now you can get it for 130 dollars the other thing that you can use as well is there's a lot of uh, SSDs out there that you can use where you can 
uh, you can maybe you're editing on the way and you want to free up some space and you can use the SSD to do that. Here I personally have this. If you want to check out my my uh, my review on this, I have a review on the Oracle iMatch, exactly 100, uh, one terabyte as well. And uh, there I tested the speed of the Oracle and uh, showed you guys that this is actually faster than the Samsung T5, surprisingly, and it's definitely cheaper as well. So go ahead and check this out. I'll link everything down below as well, so don't worry about that. So if you, if I'm going too fast or something like that, you can just go ahead and look at the description below and everything will be there. The next part we have is for your home. For example, you have a MacBook and you want to hook it up on something so you can have dual displays. Here you can use uh, the Call Digit TS3 Plus a Thunderbolt 3 dock. This has also an 85 watt charging. This is this is pretty bulky, I guess. It's still not bad, as you can see. the The person is like holding it on their hand like that. But I wouldn't really recommend this when going outside. This is only if you have uh, 5K displays and also 4K displays. It'll work for a smaller, uh, a lower spec as well. But this is great if you have uh, dual displays. That's pretty good. So here, as you can see, Thunderbolt 3, a lot of options as well, a lot of, uh, a lot of things that you can use. Uh, it only uses one USB-C on your MacBook, so that's pretty good. Here it has, you'll, you will be able to have the audio in and out. Uh, they have an SD card reader, SD4. They also have USB 3 and USB uh, Type-C. That's pretty good. They have different options as well. Um, there's a lot that you can that you can have here, so I would re definitely recommend this. So as you can see, it even has this a Display Port which you can use for your computer. That's pretty good. LAN LAN uh, connection, awesome. There you go. Next part is you need a mouse. Of course, um, the touchpad really is good if you're traveling around. If you're editing or something like that, you want something that to use as a mouse, or you can use the Magic Mouse. I for I don't like the ergonomics of the Magic Mouse, especially if you're editing a lot. So I recommend this Satechi uh, Aluminum M1 uh, Bluetooth wireless mouse uh, Type C port. This is. This is really good. It has the USB 4 and it's pretty cheap, like 40 bucks. And you have yourself a mouse. They're really good. Some of them, uh, some of you guys might like the uh, MX Master, MX5 uh, by Logitech. You can use that as well. But I would just link this down below. I would link the uh, the Logitech one as well down, uh, down below if you want to check that out. The other thing as well, if you want to have uh, your display a little bit higher and uh, you want something that is adjustable stand for your for your MacBooks, you can use that as well. You can use one of these. There's a lot of options on Amazon, so I would I don't have this personally. I have one that's close to this. I think they just came from the same suppliers, to be honest with you, and I think all of them works the same way. And basically, it's just a stand like this. You can uh, bring it up to whatever a height you like it. It also has. It says here it, it's breathable on the on the on the bottom. So there's a hole. So that's pretty good as well. So go ahead and definitely check that out. Personally, this is what I use: the vertical stand to hook up my MacBook Air to the computer to the while while I'm at home. So here you can use this for multiple devices as well. So you can, I personally use it for the MacBook Air. This one, you, I guess you can use it for uh, multiple devices like an iPhone. I wouldn't really do it like that, but you know, it, it actually, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty cheap as well. So I would definitely recommend this. It's uh, actually like the design of this pretty minimal. And um, for those of you who likes that sleek design, you can go ahead and check that out. One of the, the cases as well, if you're traveling around, you, you need this. Um, you want to protect your MacBook while you're walking around, uh, while you're going to your office or something like that. Here, uh, the Pro case with MacBook Air, this is pretty good, actually, because one unique thing about this is it has 
it has a pocket on the outside for your phone or maybe your wallet or something like that you can also of course they, they tell you that there's a soft and superior protection in, inside or something like that the other thing is the retractable handler here so that's pretty good right there you can use your use like i said you can put your phone there maybe your uh, pen or your charger right in there and uh, the best part about this, it comes with the hard case as well. So you don't have to buy in a hard case. Some of you might not like that anyway, but it is there. It comes with it if you if you care about that. So it's pretty good. I actually like the design as well here because of the, the leather strap and uh, the nice coating on the outside. So that's pretty good. And there you go. So let's go ahead and look at, um, we're almost done. Uh, this is this is one of the last ones, which is the on-the-go uh, docking station that you can use for your MacBooks. Here, as you can see, it has one USB-C as well, but it has all the functions and all the inputs that you you will ever need. Really, here, as you can see, it has HDMI, uh, VGA even for older monitors, uh, especially when you're going around, you have no idea what kind of monitors you will have. Then you can use that as well. You can use a USB-C as well to charge this. So that's pretty good. Or to imp output something out. Micro, uh, micro, US, uh, micro SD and, and uh, SD cards as well. A lot of uh, USB type A, USB 3 um, slots right there. So that's pretty good. It also even has an Ethernet gigabit. Uh, slot right there so go ahead and use that and the uh, last thing that's why i like this a lot is the audio so you can use this for uh putting audio in there and you can even split it to another if you have a splitter you can use your uh, mic uh separate mic and separate uh, headphones with it so that's pretty good and there you go and that's it for today guys thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you on your choice on looking for accessories uh what to buy for your new max macbook air m1 and macbook pro m1 and mac mini if you have any questions i'll uh, comment below and uh, I'll ho hopefully i'll be able to answer you uh, i usually try my best to answer as fast as i can so be patient with me if you want to subscribe to my channel go ahead and do that as well hit the like button so we can beat that youtube algorithm and i hope you guys have a good day and stay safe out there peace